Hello, welcome back to Critical Reactions. I am your host, Brian, delivering my voice, audio, and thoughts to you over the technology we know as the interwebs, the interwebs, the, the, the internet, the internet. Uh, today we are reacting to Periphery Reptile. I must close, disclose, I am a huge Periphery fan. I have loved everything they've put out. Uh, so far, and I have not listened to this new album, Periphery 4, Hail Stan, yet. I've been waiting to get my hands on the CD. I'm not a big fan of uh, first-time listens through compressed audio on YouTube, uh, but I am letting my curiosity get the better of me because this is a 16-minute song. 16 and 3 quarters. This is almost a 17 minute song that is a long song I don't know where it sits in the history of long songs but as far as Periphery's history uh, this is their longest uh, let's see Omega was like 13 or 14 race car was 12 or something uh, I want to say Periphery 3 had a pretty long track on it, but uh, it's kind of escaping me right now, that album. But I'm pretty sure that 16 minutes and 44 seconds is the longest track they've ever put out. So, let's get to it, I guess. Uh, I am I'm excited about this. And let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I am digging. I don't know if these are samples or live. There is this amazing, uh, I don't even know if there's a bassiness, a depthness to these strikes. Ooh, it is good. Right? There must be something in the water. His enunciation on these are very is very deliberate. Spencer's very deliberate in his singing, but there's a tension here. Ooh! That note? Where are we going with this? Oh, that nice little break there. You guys know I love my silence. Hello? A kind of nasaliness at the end of that? Dang. Alright, so we got something about uh, a, a stoner, maybe? A druggie? Uh, against corporations? Corporate greed? Maybe some sort of revelation, revolution of the working class? Own your every need. Yeah. Definitely the 1% versus the 99. That is a brutal scream. Green skinned apocalypse. 
One percent. We talking about lizard people, like from space, or like the old conspiracy theory that our government's run by lizard people? I don't know. I don't know. I could be way off here. <laughs> this is getting a little weird, even for a periphery song. Spencer's screams are always on point. Funny how treating humans as equals makes sense. Oh! Oh! This is the way to bring a chorus back. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh. That was fantastic. Brutal, but fantastic. Back to the post chorus. Those little uh, dissonant runs that Misha's known for. I think there's a new level. There's a new level to that. Trying to figure out if this is just heavily syncopated or if it's in a different time signature. There must be something in the water where he lies, where he See, this is 4 4, just real heavy syncopation. But right before this is a little off. I didn't get a chance to figure it out though. Spencer's going in on this. And one thing I love about Periphery is they can be chaotic. They can be dissonant. But when they're ready to pull the harmony in, they got some melodic music and Spencer just hits these notes. And it's just so gorgeous. There's no other word for it. It's beautiful. All right. Bring back the heaviness. Show off the guitars a bit. Nice blast beats there. Feels like a key shift. Although that might just be because it's clean now and I'm actually hearing the notes. That's not Spencer. Did you think you had it all worked out well? And who could believe? I'm talking about pretty melodies though. Those dead -eyed soldiers. I feel like this right here was uh Mark. 
Mark's Mark's real big on uh on the real beautiful stuff. Dang. Sounds like the 1% one here. I'm talking about the world like it's a third world country right here. Rich and poor are seeing the horror. I like how so far it's saying that if you don't support, I mean, basically, if the if the one percent ends up having complete control, that the entire world suffers. That's. I mean, it's true, but it's a powerful message delivered. Delivered powerfully. Ooh. Okay, I said his screams earlier were brutal. There, this is. Oh, I don't have a word for this. That was just... Ugh. Oh, man. How much longer we got of this? Because I don't want to know. I don't want to I can't spoil myself. Alright, we got like a gent breakdown going on. Is that a synthesizer? I mean, I wouldn't put it past the guys to make a guitar sound like that, but... No, no, we got some electronic influences in here. heard like a, a raw guitar solo yet okay that was a nice little run 30 second note to sound like it was short though it's cool nice flourish and I like how Chromatic. This solo is usually there's a melody uh, that follows a chord progression of sorts, or it stays within a chord at least. And that one was just heavily chromatic, and I think it personified the chaos of this story. You know, it is about strife. It's about you know being underserved and uh, just it's not a happy song. And I think that really nailed in the, the chaos of the story so far. Victory became the above the soil he knew. So victory became his life. 
and then he finished it with victory became the within the soil or below the soil that he grew or something like that uh, but yeah they used above and below the soil for life and death and he said that victory was both his life and his death or maybe all of our lives and deaths I don't know uh, I'm still trying to figure out we started out where it seemed like it was about one person against this green skinned apocalypse uh, and the story is kind of grown larger in scope, so I'm not sure where we're at right now, storyline-wise. I'm digging this, though. Kind of brought it down a bit. Introduced some uh, electronic stuttering. Lots of audio distortion. Kind of destroying uh, the way Spencer sings breaking it up, muting it, panning it. I think we're going for something big. Oh man. So the soil we own becomes us. Order back in what we know. That's scream. So the only time, so basically life is chaos and death is the order that we seek. Uh, I honestly thought that was the end. That had a very fin finality to it. Had a very finality. Very English speaking, Brian. Is that the end? I still hear something. All right, we got we got a synth thing going on. I mean, assuming that uh, the main character or the people in the revolution found the order they were searching for in death, this could be an ascension to the afterlife. Uh, this could also just be the order. Compared to the rest of the song, this is very melodic, it's very calming, it's very gentle. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sort of ascension or transportation to another uh, plane or realm or whatever you think uh, the afterlife is it could just be that serenity that tranquility of death That was Periphery's Reptile. If you didn't get the notion throughout the song from my commentary, it was a freaking masterpiece. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know what else I can say that I, I haven't already said. Uh, there are a lot of sections, a lot of musical ideas. Some good transitions. Uh, Spencer's singing was top notch. He used like six or seven different vocal styles. He had some amazing vibrato at the beginning that I didn't even know was in his repertoire. And he just pulls it out like it's nothing. Uh, the guitar work, the, dr the drumming, the bass, all everything was just spot on as usual. Uh, I guess my only critique would be in the composition area. I felt that the song had bad pacing in the middle. 
maybe middle to the end. I don't know. It's a long song. Uh, kind of lost track of temporal relationship. But uh, I think when we hit the gent part, it just kind of stayed genty for a while. And it wasn't really going anywhere. And I don't know if that was symbolic. Maybe the narrative wasn't going anywhere. And they were explaining uh, musically how whatever war or battle or conflict or whatever was going on between these green-skinned people and the main character or the revolution that he inspired. Maybe it was cyclical and they were just kind of showing how... Uh, it just chugs along. You got that that da 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 That didn't sound right. It was close to that though. Very very syncopated, uh, same note, monotone, cyclical, and very marchy, very you know, just chugging along. And maybe that's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a personification of the cycle of combat, the cycle of uh, you know, protest and revolution against the, assuming I'm correct, against the 1%. And if so, I give him props for that. But I don't know if it's just because we were hitting like a 9 or 10 minute mark in the song and then this comes in. But it felt uh, it felt like it went on a little, a little long. It's, I was, that, that section I stayed, it's welcome for me. But otherwise, just this song is probably one of the best songs I've heard in a very, very long time. The narrative had me captured mentally. There was just no way I couldn't listen to the words. But then the music was gripping me, and not so much the musicality. I think they've written more musically complex songs but this one the music served a purpose to set a mood a lot of sections were there to set the mood to set the tone and I think it did that fantastically every section was felt exactly how it should be there was sorrow and remorse in uh, the breakdown I don't really know if you could call it a breakdown because it got softer but you know, saw remorse that transitioned into anger, into rage, and the music showed both sides of that, but even when it got angry, it still had a gentleness to it, to, I mean, a, a sorrow, a melancholy, uh, just every bit of it was spot on the correct emotion that the story was telling. And, uh, yeah, the music was good, the singing was good, the story was good. Uh, the lyrics were very well thought of. There was some really good metaphors in there, uh, like at the end with the uh, above the soil and below the soil. Just, yeah, uh, masterpiece. <laughs> I don't care if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. That song is a masterpiece. You want to put in the comments it's not, uh, I don't care. That's your opinion. You're welcome to it. Uh, no one is going to change my mind on this, though. That was just fantastic. But, with that said, I do want to hear your thoughts. You're not going to change mine, but I do want to know what other people, uh, how, how they perceive this song. Maybe I'm completely wrong on the, the narrative, though. I, I still feel like the whole uh, lizard people conspiracy from like the 70s or 80s was a bit of a stretch. Um... I don't even know if it was a singular main character. I kind of got that at the beginning. Um, about uh, there were there were a few lines about it being a single person, but closer to the end, in the middle, it kind of expanded to a, a larger movement kind of thing. So maybe I just mis misread the beginning. But yeah, let me know. Uh, and you know, you know, usual like scribes, like scribe, like scribe bell. Mm-hmm. Like, subscribe, bell. And I will see you all next time on Critical Reactions. Take care.